And we're back with an important consumer confidential this time of year. AAA estimates that nearly 55 million Americans are going to be traveling this Thanksgiving holiday. If you're one of those 55 million, there's some steps that you should probably take before you leave to keep your home safe. Mm. Our senior consumer investigative correspondent, Vicki Wynn, is here with a checklist for us this morning. Good so morning. Let's just start with basic security, general home yeah. security. What are the basics? This sounds like basic Betty, but lock your doors and windows. You think about people say, oh, I live in this neighborhood. I leave my doors unlocked. I'm like trust, but also do your part. Yeah. Yeah. And also don't sure. forget the windows. You open them to fry fish on Friday and then you forget even the That's upper true. floors. Mm -hmm. Go through and do that. The next thing you want to do is let a neighbor know, hey, I'm going to be out of town. Can you keep an eye on my home? Exchange yeah. phone numbers, maybe even give them a garage door opener mm -hmm. just in case they can check it out for you. Then make sure that you, if you have an alarm, this is the time to test it. Make sure those cameras are pointed where they should be yes, and that sure. it works. And finally, are you are any of you going on vacation for the holiday? Don't tell me. Do <laughs> not advertise that you're going yeah. anywhere. You can put on Instagram. Yes. The That's first rule point. of going on vacation is don't post about your vacation That's until true. you get back. That's a good um, They point. put it on Facebook. We're loading yeah. up. The whole family. Right. Everybody's gone. True. So you've locked, right? you've locked up. The alarm is on. You don't post on social media. Cameras are rolling. But you still say there are some things you can do to deter burglars. Yes, Janelle. Cut your curb appeal. And that means oh. making sure your house looks like it's still lived in. Lights on. That neighbor that you talked Sure, for sure. There are actually timers for the inside and outside of your house. You can set them to your phone to go on vacay mode. So they come on at random times. It looks like someone is there. If you don't have someone who can pick up your mail or your newspapers for you, just go on the website and Stop put a pause paper. on it. They'll deliver it in bulk when you get back. Good. And then motion lights are always great if you can install those because those will obviously light things up. This is something people don't think about, but check all the windows all around your house. Do you have overgrown shrubs? This is the time to cut them back. You don't want to give burglars or robbers a chance to hide around your property or have it be dark at any time. This is an interesting tip from Consumer Reports about leaving your yard looking used. So they were saying leave some old toys lying around, oh. dog bowl, some dog toys to make it look like you have a dog, even if you don't. Wow, uh, that's be Another thing. little small thing that makes the thief go, you know what, I'm going to the next yeah, house. Just little wow. Things. Big dog toys. Okay. Talk about <laughs> heating and other utilities. I feel like when I leave, I should turn the heat down, but... Yeah. How down is too down when you so, have to, like, reheat the house again? The Energy Council says if it's like you you'll normally leave your heater at 70 or 72, turn it down 10 degrees. Okay. It will save you money, and it won't be too hard for your system to get it back up when you mm -hmm. come home. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you shut off the water. People don't think about it, but going to the main water valve for your home, some homes have more than one, shutting off the water because if there's any kind of leak while you're gone, mm -hmm. an inch of standing water can cause tens of thousands of yeah. dollars in damage. So, and it's easier and then turning off the washer and each individual appliance. Hmm. We talked about the timers for the lights. This is another one. Every little appliance that you have to, uh, plugged in Dream is like a cup. little, yeah, energy yep. vampire. Yep. So unplug the toaster, the coffee maker, all of those things when you leave. My bonus tip is from the fire department in Philadelphia. They say close all of your interior doors. Hmm. That is because if there is any chance there is a small fire in one room, starving that fire of oxygen by just having the door closed could limit the damage. Oh, so just wow. close all the doors. Can you turn off like in the fuse box, just like a couple rooms? You could turn off the breakers. Unplugging? That's not a that's not a hard thing to do. If you if you know where they are and that's easy, mm -hmm. you can shut off the power. But even just unplugging and unplugging your chargers as well is important. That's a good idea. Look, you'll also maintain that a little housekeeping can go a long way if you're traveling. What should we be remembering to clean up? Ahead? This is a good best practice, Craig. Anytime you leave, it's so nice to come back to a clean house that doesn't smell funky time. Yes. Start with the fridge. Yep. Eat or throw away any Anything that could go bad for that week or two weeks that you are gone. Here's an interesting trick for your freezer. So you take a cup of water, you put it in the freezer, and then you wait for it to freeze. Then you put a quarter on top. If you come back and that quarter has sunk down at all, it means your freezer might not be staying that's like super super cold so that's something to consider and look out for hmm. um also obviously take out the garbage you don't want any critters getting yeah. into your trash same for cleaning the garbage disposal throw some white vinegar down yeah. into that and then finally make sure your dishes and laundry are completely dry before you leave oh, no nice. mildew when you come home oh, i like the tips. pineapple on yeah. the counter once oh. i came back there were just fruit flies oh, it took like no. the entire summer you remember that time you left the, the banana, banana <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Banana. Fruit places. Notorious. I forget about my fruit. <laughs> that was good. Vic, that was Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.